Hi, and welcome to Andy's Let's Plays. Today we're playing Terra. Hi guys, welcome back to Cutthroat Harbor, and welcome to episode number 43 of Andy's Big Sorcerer Let's Play. We are heading off towards the Relic Hunter outpost in order to uh, continue questing, so we have to go meet up with Barlias. Um, in the meantime, uh, or while we head up there, I should say, I wanted to get this chance to, or I'm, I should say I'm glad to get this chance to talk to you guys about uh, something that I've been looking forward to in game that's coming out uh, within the next few days, which is the Chrono Scrolls system. Uh, for any of you that are not aware, the Chrono Scrolls system will allow players to purchase an in-game item called a Chrono Scroll through NMAS's website uh, for some amount of money, presumably close to the $15 mark, which is the cost of one month of game time. That's US dollars. Um, now, at this point, uh, it's not yet out, so I can't confirm the price or anything like that, so I'm mainly going off what they've said about it and what players are presuming to be uh, very close to what the case will be. Um, so these are, you know, sort of a best guess type of thing. Um, but basically the Chrono Scroll is an item that can be used in-game to apply one month of game time to the account using it. Uh, now, okay, well, I am not exactly certain where I will be able to recover to as far as the recording goes, but um, basically... I got into the labyrinth here and whatnot, and, uh, oops, we don't want to go in that way. And, uh, we've been questing around for a little while here, and then the game crashed. So, uh, sorry, sorry to be a little slow about saying that, but that's, that is the case. Um, game crashed, lost the data for the first part of the episode, I think. Um, I'm working on recovering it, so that's actually running right now, and we will see. Uh, you guys already know if it's recovered or not, because if it is, then you've probably seen a fairly complete episode up until this point, and if it has not recovered, then this stands the chance of being a very short episode. Um, so based on where we were before, um, I'm, I'm recording kind of under the presumption that I will be able to recover uh, the first portion. And if not, um, I really do apologize. This is probably going to be like a five minute episode. Um, I don't think there's any way I can really recreate uh, what I've done in the first portion, unfortunately, so if it is gone, then it's gone. But uh, uh, just going briefly over, so that I'm not restating myself too much if I've said this already, um, Chrono Scrolls are to be coming out soon, that's exciting. Um, I hope that the market balances them well and that they are fairly readily available to those of us that would like to pay with in-game currency uh, for our game time. They are a, uh, an item that will be purchasable for real-world money and saleable in-game for uh, in-game currency and vice versa, uh, but you, you can't buy them with in-game currency to sell them for real-world money. That is not okay. Um, according to, like, the terms of service and whatnot. So, we'll see. We shall see. Uh, let's, let's see here. We gotta fight some of these guys, the Gula Gormans. And actually, before we get too far in this, I'm gonna pop back to the, uh, the camp so that, so that I can, uh, turn in some quests here. I, uh, I realized, ooh, Hey, I just realized that uh, 
There is the distinct advantage of, uh, since we've already done this, basically, on the warrior, uh, if, if on the off chance that all of that is not recoverable, again, I really apologize if that's the case, and, uh, it should be pretty obvious to you guys that it's missing. Um, I very much do apologize, and at least you saw it on the warrior, so that's that's not as bad as it could be. Um, ooh, let's see, cure for crazy. Um, turn this in. Okay. Speak with Glorine again. Cool. So I guess I guess we cured his crazy. So we will teleport back into the uh, into the depths of the labyrinth, since that's where we need to be. Do 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 do. Um, so yes, hopefully, hopefully this has all been recovered. Um, if not. Certainly, we'll pick back up with a normal episode next time, and I apologize for having uh, little to nothing here for you guys. Um, I really hope it won't happen again. I'm not sure what's uh, what's causing this uh, crashing to occur, but uh, I think I need to need to run some benchmarks and stability type tests just to make sure that uh, I don't have errors in my RAM, um, which could be could be causing these problems. So, alrighty, well, uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I will see you next time. If this has been a short, incomplete episode, at least you know where we are now, and uh, I apologize, and I will see you guys next time with a full episode. Have a good night.